Back with Mass Effect 2. Took a big break. I'm right now in the Mass Effect phase that I'm always in. Right before the suicide mission. I've done this too many times. And we got new mods. New armor mods for Said. I don't know if you see too much of a difference. There are four. Four new armors for him. Right after here. So that's the first one. And Samara. Everything's fan favorite Asari apparently in this game. We got new armors. Where are they? This bad boy. And this bad boy. This one looks cool as hell. I hope I can see it when I go downstairs. I hope Talion wants to talk with me. I will probably start doing some squad mate missions. But only those that I can fail. Which there are two that come in mind I believe. Um, Yeah, I should check up on everything. See. Which ones I can feel? Does she have that armor? No, that's a different armor. That's part of that mod. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. Take your time. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Damn, that almost looking cool. Mass Effect models are doing an amazing job with this. Links in the description. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. I hate this mission. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life. And the reason I became a Justicar. And my face cam is still on. Go away. Go away. Who she is? Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. I also am sure I can fail this mission, but I have a mod installed that makes it not that easy to fail, something like that. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. 
Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Some of those side quests seem like I could just send Garrus with her and they're gonna wing it. No, it's not like I need to do everything myself here. To double check. Did we do check already? I don't think. So she told me already where she wants to be. That we can do a loyalty quest. I believe she did. Let's check. Up on her. Anyways, cool outfit go. I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Yeah. Soon. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have yep. to go. We're gonna do that. I believe afterwards the conversation with Miranda. And I can immediately let rid Jack of all her loyalty. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Honora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions, the Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. 
I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Oh, and you're gonna regret that. You're gonna regret it. Let's see if Said has the new armor. I believe I can do... What the hell? Oh, here's casual attire in this. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. That's kind of kitschy. Anyways. I'll think about doing jacks. First, it's the shortest next to Said's. And I'm just going to do the ones I can fail from now on. Out. Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. No, no, I won't do that. Jacob. Hard choice, Patrick. Why did I do that? Anyways. Oh, sue me. Hell no. I hate that loyalty mission to Liara. No, I can still do that in print. Oh, check. Yes. I believe you can well, say it's loyalty, but just being nice. Paragon is the way. Got the fuel buying thing. Never works. All resources come to me. Gotta love that mod. It's just a feature that makes the game longer. Not better by having to look for Outlaw. certain spots to get resources. Okay, and to orbit. Bunny. Probe launched. Thank you. Should have enough now for every upgrade that I want to get. Anyways. Okay, that's a weird armor. I'll take it. The arm sleeves seem glitchy. Let's get rid of the arms. Shoulder, arms. Visible, yeah. This better. We have Jack. Let's take Samara, because her arm is always the coolest. Paragon Samara pulling enemies into her orbit to her mass effect field. Also, subject zero. I only need shock wave. I don't even want to read through it. The girl's quote. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof. Or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. I don't like this mission. Almost the most out of all the loyalty missions. Especially when you do it Renegade. Also it has my favorite one line in the game. Oh look at that armor set up. Except for Jack, she doesn't have cool armors. That's the best one she got. We're doing checks, loyalty mission. And she won't be in the photo. How do I get rid of you? There we go. Oh yeah. Perfect. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. Burn. The rain is nice. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually, this is 
Unbelievable. You enjoy it here? Probably not. Never took some marrow with us. Good choice, then. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew... He won't find out. The elusive man requested operation... It sounds as if this facility turned rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. And you spared him, right? You spared him. You did. Right, Jack? Paragon Jack? No? Okay. I believe I have the full automatic version of this gun with me. Yep. We got Shockwave. Hmm. Weird. So I could do that now. I'm playing on a harder difficulty. Maybe this mission will be actually difficult for once. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here, pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight, filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Oh yeah. Okay, we got you. I don't know how many missions I need to do before. The Security invasion. Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Okay. More Baron this mate. place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Money. Yeah. Okay, let's go down. We've got the one big fight ahead of us in a second. Enemies ahead. Ah! Weapon. <laughs> Shields down. Go and get close. Nothing can stop me. They all have armor. Come on, throw that probe. Yeah, it's it's going to be dead in a second. I will hide and take you all. Nice. Oh, not dead yet. I'll put them where we need them. I'll destroy you. They need a morgue. This was a small facility. I fear the other children died in great numbers. Even then, they were a part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. 
Uh, Samara doesn't quite fit into the story here. It'd be fun to take her with me as a renegade. So strange to be back here. I feel like I'm what? pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. That was the one line. We all are, girl. We all are. Dangerous bitches. Oh. Little girls. Trouble in. Very Come good. Out. Get them off their feet. Okay. Any loot? No, very. I hold them. Neutralize them. <laughs> They kept children in this place? We know that already. Uh, have you not been listening? Okay, last fight, right? Not yet. This... It's a two-way mirror? My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Where are you? I can't see Cha. Oh, there she is. Okay. I'm a dangerous bit. I must have come through here when I broke out. But I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Yeah, that chair doesn't look very inviting. It's not a massage chair. You know what I've ever seen? Entry 1054 Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up, we are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. Mm. This looks interesting. Oh, yeah. Both teammates. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who are they? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need a sniper. Here we go. Does it have a disruptor? No. I'm actually thinking first. Put on my... Hey, Arash, it's Kirek. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Kill them on my order. Okay. Dead. Can I for me? Stop. Ah. 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 
Anything on this dude. Right. Overrun. We outnumber and outgun all. Nothing can stop me. I'll put them where we need them. Perfect timing. Is he still alive? He is. Sort. Come to me. I'll kill you all. Oh, yeah. I want to press the useless all of you. I'll kill Shut myself. that dude up again. He's kind of fishing up there. Let's put him out of this misery. Oh. He threw that against the wall. I can... idiot. Get you no. all. <laughs> I saw one fly again. Love it. Okay, he's pushing. Let's get him. Over for everything. Come to me. No. Oh. Okay. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. No, that's not the fair of one way. Ah, oh. leave him tied up next to the pump. That's the Paragon way. So the bomb killed him, not us. That's a uh, low, um, low, low. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh. And you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. Oh, the logic on this dude. This place was like a prison. How'd you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down, but then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. Get out of here. Go. He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. No. We have a bomb to deploy and work to do. Okay. Burning this place to the ground is the important part.
this agreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. No, I don't, I don't even have the points for that. Interesting. Oh, that's a cool screen. Bad check. When you agreed to work for me, you agreed to be part of a Cerberus mission. You're both assholes. You want me to fight for you? Fine. You want anything more? Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Sorry about that. I hope she doesn't cause us more trouble than she's worth. Let's see. Oh, her loyalty status is. I can go down and talk to her. Probably just down. Let's go check first. The loyalty status. I'll have to ship music. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. No. Good. Exactly how I wanted it. Post. Let's talk to Jack. And start some music immediately. Damn you, game. For your lack of music. There we go. Better. Oh. What's up, girl? Good jacket. Nice posture while sitting there. I got nothing to say. Why don't you go talk to Miranda? <laughs> oh, that's all. Just do your job then. That's all I need from you. When the bullets are flying, I'm there. Outside that, pretend I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Let's take a nice screenshot. Both of us. Then we're done here. See, it should look like I'm giving her a lecture. Eh, or looking down at her disgust. Yeah, that's good enough. It's too dark in here for a thumbnail, anyways. Yeah, let's switch out outfit, and then this part is over. And I'm gonna look through my list of people who I can mess the loyalty up with. Before doing DLC missions. No, oh, outfit, outfit. You're right. There's so many armors that I could still play with. Um, somehow all of them look weird. This one. Domino armor. Maybe it's just the color pattern. Yep, definitely looks better like that. Where well, was white? There. Yeah. Domino. God, the color pattern. No! Oh. Hmm. Perfect. For I want to do a loyalty mission. Damn it. I will not do a loyalty mission. I believe I have everything in here already played with. I like this one. And we're done. 